Yeah, lah. So, arithmetic and geometric sequences are not the only kind of number patterns that we have, right? Do you see this arrangement of pots here? Starting from there to here, it kind of looks like a number line where each pot represents a number, right? Now, if I were to call this pot number zero, and we incremented the pots, every one with one number, what would this be? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and so on. Right? We can keep going on if I had as many pots for all of those numbers. Do you notice any pattern here in itself, starting from zero? Can you tell me which of the pots or what is the number sequence made by the pots that have? Purple, pink, purple flowers. Sorry, they're not flowers. Pink, purple leaves. That would be zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. What number pattern is that? Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five onwards. Multiplication tables of five. You see, even multiplication tables are a beautiful number pattern. You hear the sound that's coming in there? That had a pattern to it, and it stopped. And we could notice the shift in pattern in that sound, right? Coming back, all this while we've been doing zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if I start this again with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it seems like I'm just counting numbers. Counting numbers, natural numbers. That's another very simple number pattern. If I put the zero in, what does the pattern of natural numbers or the sequence of natural numbers now become? It becomes the pattern of whole numbers, also having the zero right there. Hmm. Let's see if we can make some more interesting patterns, number patterns with this. What if I pulled out some of these spots? Say, I take out. Uh, I'll take out this guy. Oops, I'm getting a call. Do you hear the beeps on the call ringer? That has a pattern to it as well. I'll take this call later. All right. So I took out pot number zero. I take this. I leave this here. I take this out, leave this here, take this out. What's different on our Pots number line right now. Zero is missing. All I have on the pots number line is one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. What is this again? Come on, this must be really easy. It's kind of like I'm, I'm asking a very childish question, isn't it? This is nothing but the odd numbers. And what about the numbers or the pots that I'm missing? Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. That's the even numbers. Simple number patterns. Now, what's the pattern with natural numbers? Starting at one, we add one so as to get the next number in the sequence. What's the pattern for whole numbers? Starting at zero, we add one to get the next number in the sequence. What's the pattern for the odd numbers? Starting at one, we add two to get the next number in sequence. What's the pattern for even numbers? Starting at two, or actually, starting at zero, we add two to get the next number in sequence. Isn't that fascinating? Fascinating because we think of it as very trivial, everyday things, but there's a lot of beautiful math behind each one of them. There are some more interesting number patterns. Um, 
Let's explore them. Maybe we could use some of these spots here itself to help us understand them. There are many, many more number patterns, right? You would have heard of something called magic triangles. Now, what's a triangle made of? It's a three-sided closed regular polygon, right? Now, if I had numbers at every corner and in the middle of every line such that the numbers on any given line add up to the same sum, then that forms a magic triangle. Now, with this as an example, see what other magic triangles you can make up. And then comes the magic squares. It's same as the magic triangle, except we don't use a triangle, we use a square. A square which has four corners and four sides. A regular polygon again. Numbers at every corner, numbers at the middle of every line. Such that the numbers on any line always read the same sum. More number squares of your own. Magic squares. Hey, you can make number patterns in an infinite number of ways. What's infinity? That's something that's way beyond our measurements, alright? 